thank you to Ravit for your support on Patreon. For now, I guess we have to trace our steps. What were you doing before you fell in the pool? I don't think fell in would be the correct term, but I'm not sure what is. If he doesn't remember our first meeting, it's probably not a great idea to explain the other outlandish events that led me here. I'll have to make up an alibi in the meantime. It's more like I found myself in the pool suddenly. I don't really remember what came before that, honestly, but I'm not from around here. Yeah, I know. Louisiana, right? Oh my god. I tightened my jaw, so he remembers that? <laughs> yeah, you could say I'm a bit far from home. Where are we, anyway? He points to a banner hanging above the row of lockers behind me. UCLA! <laughs> the Bears! The alma mater of fucking CJ Craig from fucking West Wing, hell yeah! Wait, no, she was from Cal Berkeley. Damn it! Why do I know these things? I nod. University of California, Los Angeles. Ah, uh, I, I knew that. <laughs> so I really am on the West Coast. I'm going to need a better explanation as to how I got here all the way from the South overnight. Anyway, we can talk more later. I gotta get out of here before... Oh god, here we go. What? Damn it! Who made this mess? Oh god, Coach Grifter! Who... Chuck places a hand over my muzzle and silently shushes me. Christ! There's water everywhere! Well, the clean towels are soaked too! Who's here? Don't make me come in there, boys! I stream my voice to whisper as quietly as possible while still hoarse. Oh. What is that? Coach. And he sounds pissed. There's a crashing sound as the door swings open and hits the wall. She never had it all. One Prozac a day. Husband's a CPA. Chug shrinks at the noise and looks at the floor shaking. You wanna play games with me, smart asses? Fine! I'll just check the shine-in sheet! Fuck! We sit petrified in silence as we hear a move through the row behind us, with shoes making squelching noises against the tile. So quiet I can hear the jingling of keys echoing throughout the hall. We stop. <laughs> well, well, well. Only one name. Get out here, chunk! I know you can hear me! Chunk winces and hesitates before standing up. Over here, coach. I wonder if I should try to hide, but it's too late. Oh, that is not... You do not deserve the Coach Grifter voice, you... What the fuck? An older lion wearing swimwear quickly rounds a corner, making a beeline towards Chug. There you are! Chug steps in front of me, hoping to obscure as much of me as possible with his large frame. The lion slows his walk, dragging a, the clipboard along each locker. What is this, a fucking mob hit? Jesus. It thumps loudly as it hits each gap along the way. You care to explain why half the freaking pool's currently occupying the locker room chunk? It was an emergency. Coach pauses, trying to look past him, but shakes his head, turning his attention back down the shark. Is that so? Yes, someone suddenly whacks the clipboard on the locker door next to Chug's head. It's loud enough that my vision blurs for a moment, the metallic boom reverberating in my skull. Chug doesn't flinch. Well, it must have... Well, it must have been an emergency if you jumped in my pool wearing a shirt! Jesus, fuck, really? Chug's cool demeanor is broken as he pauses to examine himself. 
gasps as his tone becomes apologetic. I swear I took it off while I was practicing, it's just... How many times have I told you not to wear non-swim material clothing in the pool? God, fuck you, man. God damn it. Before he can reply, Coach slams the locker again, this time close enough to Chug's head to make him flinch. Am I talking to myself here? How many times? A thousand times, sir! You hear the lion sigh in the bench creak in the bench creak as he takes a seat next to Chug. You know I can't give you special treatment, Chunk. Chug, it's Chug. God, no, oh, Gray. God damn it! If you lost weight like I asked, you wouldn't need the shirt. You know I have rules about that, right? Perfect the way he is. Yes, I've been exercising every day. I swear I've been trying. I want to lose it. Or a wet hand plop on his shoulder. Maybe cut down on the Tycos and NJ. Oh my god, you're a fucking racist. Of course you fucking are. Takos and enchiladas, huh? Um, then tell Mama Sita to try cooking something healthy for you. Fucking piece of shit. I'm not. I'm not voicing that. My blood is boiling. Right. What the fuck? Oh, they animated the. I was like, what the fuck is going on over there? Now, you and your friend there better get this cleaned up before you even think about hightailing it out of here. Jeez, how did he like he step on my tail and yelp? It was poking out from under the bench this whole time. My chuckles and I stand up, rubbing my tail while glaring back at him. Who's the boss? Friend of yours? Yeah. He came to watch me practice, but fell in by mistake. Coach shoots me a look and I nod. I can't swim. Got caught on something. Chug saved my life. I'm lucky he was there. But I put extra emphasis on saying Chug's name correctly. Coach chuckles and walks off without saying a word. We breathe a collective sigh of relief, and Chug relaxes his muscles for the first time since the confrontation began. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I think you being here helped. Helped? So that was a good interaction between the two? None of this was sitting right with me. So look, let's just suddenly hear the rolling of wheels bumping over uneven tile. Coach rounds the corner again, this time pulling a janitor's cart behind him. The two of you weren't thinking of skipping out without cleaning this up, were you? Of course not! He jogs over to the cart and grabs a mop. Coach grabs a bucket and waves it in my direction. You too, newbie. I grumble and walk over to him. Snatching the bucket out of his hands. Is it policy at this school that teachers punish their students with menial tasks, or is this just how you entertain yourself? Oh boy. The lion's smile falls into a grimace as he sizes me up. Considering we're all adults here and you're not a student, I could have the cops escort you out of here instead. How's that sound? Chug squeezes it between us and hands me a rag, laughing nervously. <laughs> no, no, we definitely don't want that. Come on, dude, let's just finish this up. His smile is as wide as ever, and the pain behind his eyes make me want to cry. This must be something that has been going on for a long time if he hasn't already told his coach to go fuck himself. The disgruntled feline scoffs at us and walks off, leaving us alone, finally. We don't speak for a few minutes, Chug earnestly mopping up puddles of water while, so I, while I wring out towels and move into the bucket. Eventually, it's too much to bear and I break the silence. Chug, why do you... I don't want to talk about it. 
another long stretch of silent cleaning. I can't stop thinking about giving the coach a taste of his own medicine, the washed-up has-been. Why would he even put Gabe Chug on the team if he didn't meet the requirements? Not to mention, I've seen him swim, and he's amazing at it. Whatever extra flab he has didn't slow him down whatsoever. I feel like I've been wringing the same towel out for 20 minutes now. My finger joints are killing me. Suddenly, Chug clears his throat. Um, yeah. He isn't always like this. I think he picks on me because he wants me to be better, but... He hangs on that last word. But... I don't really know. <laughs> I was hoping I'd have thought of a reason by now. Maybe he's just, uh... Um... Uh, he looks around before continuing in a low voice. I... Don't know what that means, but I got... Translate, so... Let's see what the fuck this, uh, this pulls up. Wow, it auto-filled. This has got to be a popular term. Ah, fucking asshole. Nice. <laughs> it says, it is an offensive term and the type of word that shouldn't be said in front of children. <laughs> That's why all my videos are marked, not for children, YouTube. Huh? What, what does that mean? He scratches his head. A fucking asshole. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta say it in Spanish or it doesn't feel rude enough, you know? I nod, sort of understanding the logic. Whenever I was late on rent, I'd get yelled at in a tirade of French pejoratives before I'd get a word in edgewise. Edgewise, sorry. Well, I'd say we're just about done cleaning. Anything left should evaporate by tomorrow. Chug shoots up and grabs a towel out of my hand, tossing it towards the cart. MJ, hey! Oh, so... Wait a minute. Jordan wasn't playing in the 80s, was he? Oh, no shit! He was drafted in 84? So I don't know much about fucking basketball or really any sport, but for some reason I pictured Michael Jordan's career being mostly in the 90s, but actually his longest run was actually in the 80s. He played from uh, 84 to 93, so that's nine years. Then he stopped for a couple years. He Then he played from 95 to 98. Uh, then I think that's when he stopped and played baseball. Then he came back and played from 2001 to 2003. And of course, before that, he was uh, uh, at college in North Carolina before he got drafted in 1984. Okay, so the, 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 the fucking the Jordan reference really could spread through the 80s or 90s. So that really doesn't clue us into whether we're in the 80s or 90s. Either way. Damn. I thought that would finally clue us in. But the, again, the Walkman. The Walkman. I feel like the Walkman is the clue. The first Walkman cost $200 in 1985. The Walkman turned 30 in 2009. So that'd be... 90, 90, 99, 89, 79. Okay. So that would place its popularity mostly in the 80s. Yeah. So the Walkman thing really does make me think we're we're in the 80s right now. That's what that's my that's my prediction. We are in the 80s. Bloop! MJ! It misses and lands on the ground with a plop. He shrugs and walks over, putting it away properly. Yeah, he's, he's, he, he doesn't, he's, he's not, he's, he's not, uh, he's not bothered. Guess I'm not cut out for the NBA. Are you ready to dry off now? 
<laughs> Are there even any dry towels left? He chuckles and waves me over. Not like that, silly. Come on, the dry room's this way. I cock my head, puzzled. I have no idea what to expect. I follow him down the hall and through the through to a, the shower room. Past that, there's yet another hallway with a heavy iron door at the end. This'll be way faster. Better for your fur, too. We walk inside, and there's a sauna with benches and racks with clothes hangers on them. There are four wire lamps sitting in each corner of the room, connected to a bigger vent on the ceiling by a tangle of wires. Chuck closed the door behind me and turned the handle. I hear a click coming from the door frame, followed by a low hiss. So, uh, what's all this? He grins and walks over to a dial on the wall, cranking it up to 70 degrees. No worry, I hadn't seen one myself until I joined the swim team. Fancy, huh? The lamps, the lamps swim up the room and the vents suck out all the moisture. Should only need like five minutes here and you'll be good to go. Wow, that's amazing. I'd long dreamed of such a contraption, since my childhood days were mostly spent swimming in murky lakes and ponds. The thicker the fur, the easier it is for mildew to form, and Louisiana's climate is extremely humid to boot. Long story short, if I didn't use at least eight towels after swimming, I'm gonna smell like low tide until my next shower. Here's some mechanism churning to life behind the walls, and the heat lamps start to glow a dull orange. Chug whips off his shirt and hangs it on the rack before sitting down on the bench. You know, the clothes dry faster if you take them off. Feel yeah, my face turn red. Y you don't say! Mm hmm. No pressure, though. Well. That, uh. That. <laughs> That... why would you... Uh, we have to see what it does. Oh, it doesn't voice it. We should both get naked. Uh... Don't be fair. I don't want to be the only one. Uh, um... She tries to come up with a few excuses, but eventually stops and sighs. Alright. I guess my trunks could stand to be fully dry for once. I don't like that he doesn't feel comfortable with this. I don't. We'll see if he becomes comfortable with it, but otherwise I'm probably going to go back. I peel off the layers and wring out the excess water before hanging them up, to, up next to Gabe's shirt. It actually feels good to be nude after having those heavy wet clothes suffocating me during that heated chat with Coach earlier. Turn around to see him pulling down his trunks, struggling to get them past his ankle fins. Eventually he kicks them towards me out of frustration and I manage to catch them, hanging them with the rest of our clothes. Well, we're both naked now. I sit next to him on the bench, and he immediately leans on me. Chug? Uh, oh, uh, sorry. It's just been a while since I felt fur. It's so... soft. Wow! That... face. You could say the same about him. His smooth marine skin was refreshing to brush up against. I always heard a saying that fur and scales were a perfect match for bedfellows, since one is always too cold and the other is too, so too hot. I really, really don't want to get hard right now. This is a totally normal thing. I could get through this without being a pervert. Chug glances downward and looks back up to me, grinning childishly. Oh, maybe not so little, eh, little dude? Shit. Uh, uh, thanks? He laughs hard, holding his belly to keep it from shaking. <laughs> Not trying to be weird or anything, it's just... Well, let's just say I see people's dicks pretty often being on a sports team. Uh-huh. 
so I have a good frame of reference, and you're sitting pretty high up on the list. Why is there a list? I'm flattered, but this is a lot to take in at once. Wait, why is he looking at dicks unless... So... Um... So... Are you... He places a big arm around me and pulls me closer, whispering even though we're alone in here. Yes. But don't worry, I'm not gonna like... Jump, gonna jump your bones or anything. That's a stereotype. No, you're good. I didn't get that feeling at all. I don't know I'm among my peers, if you catch my drift. I pat his packs and he lets me go, leaning on his knees. Still, looking downward. What? Nothing. Nothing. You just confirmed that you're at the top of the list. <laughs> I look down and... Fuck. I look around for... Oh, he got... Okay, so I was wondering why he got... Like, why he said fuck, and then I, I look up. He is erect. I look around for a towel or something, trying to cover it with my hands, but accidentally grazing it. I moan and cover my mouth immediately. Just kill me now. Dude, you're fine. You think you're the only guy who's ever popped a boner in here before? Hell, I even jerked off in here a few times when it was just me. That door locks until the session's over. Thinking about him jerking off is definitely not going to get this little problem to go away. Well, I guess it'll just... Well, I guess it'll... I'll just let it be, then. I reluctantly sit back down, dick slap it against my stomach before resting... Before resting at its stubborn neutral position. I don't mind. It's just guy stuff. You want to take care of it? I'll just look look this way and not helping. There is something I've been curious about this whole time. So, um, you have a slit? I looks between his legs, pretending to be shocked. Whoa! Where'd my dick go? Did the dick burglar run through town while I was asleep? Very funny. And there's a big ass CG up on the screen on the next one. I, I, and at this point we're talking about genitalia, so. And there, nothing really is happening, so I guess it's just sort of conversation. That's not against the guidelines. You just can't see any of it, so... I'm just gonna be a full-screen bat. Really? Which I hate to do, but... Sorry. But I'm not describing anything against the YouTube guidelines, so... It's, it's not against the rules. He giggles at his own joke before turning towards me, spreading his thighs so I can see it better. If I didn't know any better, I'd assume it was a vagina, albeit look lacking some critical features. It looks plumper and the same texture as his normal skin. Though the gentle wash of pink leading towards the center makes it look like a very tempting kind of fruit. One I'd really like a taste of. It's flanked on either side by taste tiny fins. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of them are. Possibly a gen genetic leftover from his seafaring ancestors. Get a good gander. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, yes. i just never seen one outside of task textbooks. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's more common here on by the coast. Lots of sea critters live in LA. So long as you don't call it a pussy, I don't mind you looking. I kick myself for the earlier comparison, though I would still be all over him even if it were a pussy. Holes are still made to be filled, simple as that. So he's pansexual. Didn't we have a conversation about this before? Or was that a different game? I don't remember. A lot of games blend together for me, unfortunately. I've played so many of these games. Oh, man. Well, I won't ask for a further demonstration. 
It's awkward enough with one of us being hard. He leans back onto his hands, his flirty smile faltering. No worries about that. I don't go showing that off much. Oh? Yeah, it takes a lot of effort. The coach says it could be my weight, but I think something's just wrong with me. I want to hug him so bad. Right now, I just end up poking him. Your coach, your coach doesn't know shit from Shinola. Nothing is wrong with you. I don't want to come off. I don't want this to come off on the wrong. I don't want this to come off the wrong way. But you're my ideal type. Huh? This is a type. He gestures to his gut. Believe me, it is. And it just so happens to be mine. He blushes, the, the red beneath his blue skin warming into a soft purple. No, oh, shucks. Nobody's ever said that to me before. It means a lot, little dude. Also, when the sentimentality happens, and it's not so much focused on the, the, the physical intimacy, the erection went away on Grey. I wonder if that's a, uh, a thing that, uh, that happened. Also, I also feel really bad because I'm starting to realize that this sweet, likable guy with... He's obviously been being treated very badly and has a lot of self-image problems and self-doubt. The through line for all these characters is that they're going to off themselves. God. I don't want to think about that right now. And I was looking at Gabriel's, like, torso. He's got a lot of these scars everywhere. What the hell? That means a lot, little dude. He rustles my head for and I rub under his dorsal fin. Well, the time's just about up. I'm still hard. It's waning. I'm a lot more comfortable now. Hey, me too, dude. This was a good talk. I nod, and before we know it, our time's up. Between all of the dick talk, I actually dried off completely. My clothes, too. They, though they were a little wrinkled. Dressed and only vaguely smelling of chlorine, we head back towards the locker room. I follow Chug to his locker, and he gathers his things, pulling an outfit I recognize out of, the bl out of a black gym bag. Just try not to get another stiffy while I'm changing. No promises. Oh, Jesus. I just, yeah. Fair enough. To no! Not the fruit bat! 